Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to stream LaunchBox or Big Box to your NVIDIA Shield Android TV. Now I've done a lot of videos on the Shield running emulators by itself. It does N64 really well, it does PSP, but when I'm sitting out in my living room, I don't want to lug my PC on out there and play my favorite PS2 games on my PC that has LaunchBox and Big Box. I can stream it directly to my NVIDIA Shield, use the Shield controller, and play all my favorite retro games. So this is actually pretty simple to do, but your PC that's running LaunchBox and Big Box does need an NVIDIA GTX GPU. It has to be a 660 or higher. I have a 1060. AMD will not work with this method. There are other ways out there, but I find this to be the easiest way to go. We're going to get right into it. The first thing we need to do is sign into NVIDIA games. Now, I use my Google account here. As soon as you log in, it'll prompt you to sign up. And I'm already streaming my PC to the NVIDIA Shield. I can play any of these games here and I've added Big Box right here. We need to set up our PC for this. We're gonna move over to the PC I have my LaunchBox and Big Box set up on. We're gonna set this up, we'll come back, and we can stream our favorite retro games to our NVIDIA Shield using the best emulation front end there is out there for Windows. So let's move over to my PC now. All right, so here we are at the PC. I have my LaunchBox and Big Box setup installed on. I also have an NVIDIA GTX 1060 GPU. You have to have a 660 or higher. So older 750 GPUs, 900 series GPUs will work perfectly. You need the latest drivers for NVIDIA, and you'll also need the NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed. Now you'll be prompted to sign in. I'm going to sign in with the same exact account that I have signed in on my NVIDIA Shield. I'm going to be using my Google account. I'm going to log in here. It's going to prompt me for my email address and my password. I'm going to go ahead, log in, but I'm going to skip this part. All right, so now that I'm logged into the GeForce Experience, it's going to scan my computer and find all the games that I can stream. So these are my PC games that I can stream. I actually have a lot more on a different drive. It's not scanning that drive. You can ask it to but we're worried about big box streaming to the shield. So first thing we're gonna do is go to the settings tab, scroll all the way down to shield, and we're gonna turn game stream on. I'm gonna add a new application that I can stream. So I'm gonna click add. I'm going to add my big box here. Now you can find wherever yours is. I have some on my desktop, but I'm using one on my external drive here. Big box, double click. Give it a second. You can also change the icon if you'd like. Just make sure it's highlighted. Click edit and you can change the icon. Now I don't have an icon set up right now, but it's really easy to do. There's one last thing we need to make sure of. We need to make sure that the Nvidia Shield and the PC are on the same exact network. Now I use ethernet for everything, but you can use Wi-Fi on your PC and ethernet on your Nvidia Shield or vice versa. I do recommend Ethernet because the streaming experience is going to be a lot better with Ethernet on both systems, but you can use Wi-Fi if you want to. So we're now set up, ready to move back to the NVIDIA Shield Android TV, start streaming Big Box to the Shield. Okay, now from the Shield, I'm going to go back to NVIDIA Games. Like I mentioned, you do need to sign in with the same email account if you want it to work. You got My Games and Game Stream. I'm just going to go to Game Stream. All the games that I can stream are listed here. You can even stream Steam. But I wanted Big Box here. I'm going to start it up. Click Play. It's going to start up on my PC. And I'm going to be able to stream it to my NVIDIA Shield. And here we are. So I can have this out in my living room and have my gaming PC in the bedroom or your office and you'll be able to stream your games to your big screen in the living room. Now there's a few things to note here. You will need to set the controller up in each one of these because we're not using an Xbox controller and we haven't mapped the Nvidia Shield controller to these emulators. I'm going to go to PS2 and I'll start Gran Turismo 4. You can open the PC SX2 emulator here as long as everything's set up in your big box or launch box setup, and you can map your controller from here. Now you will need a mouse to do this, but after you've mapped your controller, you only need to do this one time. 
Mine's already mapped, so I'm just going to click play. It's going to start the game for me. And I'm now streaming PS2 from my PC to my NVIDIA Shield. It's really simple to do, and if you already have an NVIDIA Shield and LaunchBox set up on a PC, it's definitely worth trying it out. Just press start here, because I've mapped my controller. Now since I'm connected with Ethernet, it streams perfectly fine. I have tried Wi-Fi. I don't have the best Wi-Fi router in the world, so I do get some lag here and there, but over Ethernet, it works perfectly fine. Let's go to dirt and snow. And I'm going to have to choose my Subaru GC8. Where is she? And here we are, streaming PS2 from my PC to my NVIDIA Shield. Now obviously your PC has to be powerful enough to play PS2 in the first place. This isn't going to magically make your emulators work better. I just love having LaunchBox pretty much anywhere I can go. You could also stream this to your phone using an application called Moonlight, but you still need that NVIDIA GPU. There are a few other applications out there like Parsec, but I find them a little cumbersome to get your controllers up and running. Go ahead and exit this one. Right back in the launch box. And if I press my home button, you can see I'm not trying to trick anybody. I'm still on my NVIDIA Shield. And we're right back in the big box. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I think it's a cool little feature that the NVIDIA Shield has, but you do need an NVIDIA GTX 660 or higher in the PC you have launch box or big box installed on. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll also leave a link to LaunchBox's website. And like always, thanks for watching.